Hi, this is Tristan Todd with Tintree's tech marketing team. In this video, I'd like to chat about the Tintree plugin for VMware vRealize Orchestrator and how it distinguishes itself from traditional storage platform plugins. Where legacy storage plugins are fixated on LUN and volume operations, Tintree's workflows and actions are VM and vDisk focused and are better able to support modern enterprise workflows, such as those associated with continuous application development. Let's walk through a few quick demos. I first want to give you an example of automation that just makes no sense. I'm going to log into a legacy uh, enterprise cloud configuration and consume some services. Here I'm logging into vRealize Automation and a self-service portal. It's backed by vRealize Orchestrator on the back end. So let's go ahead and take a look at the service catalog. I'm logging in as an, a non-administrative user, someone who would consume cloud services. And you can see I'm met with a sea of options here and none of them are really relevant to my job. A lot of these are LUN and disk uh, aggregate based policies and services. And they really don't make sense for me as a server owner or someone who wants to spin up services. If we want to succeed in building a quality enterprise cloud, we need to roll out services that our most demanding users want to consume in a self-service portal. We need to integrate tools that take full advantage of the capabilities of the underlying cloud technologies. Tentry has released a vRealize Orchestrator plugin, among other things, and this plugin makes it very easy to integrate uh, a very popular orchestration framework in vRealize Orchestrator into uh, your environment. So automation is a click and drag type of proposition. And let me show you really quickly what's going on under the hood, and I'll show you what it looks like from a uh, self-service portal platform. So here I am in the vRealize Orchestrator client, and uh, I first want to show kind of a legacy storage platform and the complexity that it presents from the automation capabilities. Lots of different options here, but not many of these capabilities are relevant to a cloud consumer in a enterprise cloud. So if we take a look at the Tintree plugin, it is a very, very uh, stripped down and focused uh, automation toolkit. It is uh, really fixated on the most essential tasks that are machine level tasks that you might present out to one of your cloud consumers. Things like cloning VMs, uh, snapshotting replication services, quality of services, uh, uh, snapshot, up updating replication state and the like. And Tentry also provides a number of actions that that our customers can utilize to uh, build very complex automation workflows. So uh, lots of underlying tasks are captured in these modules called actions, and these are bits of code uh, or snippets of code that, that you can use um, to drag and drop your way to uh, uh, very complex but very uh, meaningful workflows. So I'll take you through some custom workflows that I have in my environment. Uh, here's a workflow that I have uh, built. And what I've done here is I've linked a number of off-the-shelf Tentry workflows and actions to build a meaningful service that my users will uh, benefit from. So let's go ahead and take a look at this orchestration workflow in action in vRealize Automation. I'm now going to log into my Tentry integrated cloud as a username Elgaga. When I log into this environment, I met with a number of service options in the catalog. So I have a number of services here. I've got some day zero services. For instance, that workflow I just highlighted in Orchestrator, I can consume here in vRealize Automation. So I'm gonna go ahead and request one of those Apache web servers. Uh, I need a couple of them, and I'm gonna call these uh, Web Server West. I'm gonna select two of them. They each need a couple of CPUs and a couple of gigs of RAM. And I wanna choose my gold service level. Gold service level affords me the snapshot and replication uh, services that are in line with my corporation's uh, gold level BCDR capability. And finally, I'm going to set a uh, service level uh, agreement based policy for performance. This is going to be a development environment. So I choose dev from the list and click submit. And what I've done there is I have basically uh, requested services from the service catalog and in the background now my uh, web servers are being deployed and their services are being configured uh, based on my corporate policy. Now in my environment, if I already have some servers deployed, 
Uh, in this case, I've got a handful of systems deployed. Uh, what I can do is I can take an off the shelf uh, resource action. Uh, so I'm gonna take my Tyra's uh, 019 server and go ahead and set up some SLA based services. So again, I'm kicking off a vRealize or orchestrator workflow from the vRealize automation interface. So here I select whether or, not, whether or not I need snapshots. In this case, I do. Uh, and I have my snapshot policy here listed. I'm going to choose the gold level policy. It says, do I need replication? Yes, I do. I'm going to choose yes. And I have a choice of replication targets. I'm going to choose Lilea Sweden. And finally, do I need storage QoS? The answer is yes, I do need storage QoS. I've got a description here of the QoS policies. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna choose the development policy for the system, click submit, and now my enterprise cloud services have been requested. And in just a few seconds, they have been processed. So returning to the VRealize Orchestrator interface, here you can see that I've got a very basic logical set of tasks I need executed. They're all very VM specific and I can deliver them in a nice consumable service catalog. So here I am reaping the rewards of Tentry API based automation. As you can see, Tentry's plugin for VMware VRealize Orchestrator supports the development of modern infrastructure workflows. Our plugin helps you build better services build them faster, and deliver the capabilities that developers need the most. And this is one of many unique capabilities that Tentry provides, allowing us to inject tangible business value to the construction of your enterprise cloud. Thanks for watching.